It'll be Los Angeles off the tip. Now Golden State's starting five. Steph, Clay, and Dre on the perimeter. It's Lee and Bogut inside. Kobe goes in. And Thompson sends it back. Oh, and he's going up for the alley-oop here. And the jam by Andre Iguodala. Boy, the pass there floated up to the precise spot where it needed to be. And no messing around on the finish, huh? He, he powers it through. Sure didn't waste any time there. I'll tell you what, that is going to be an alley-oop we'll Bang. see in the highlight reel the next few days. The nine-foot shot. He shoots again. And the layup is good. He was the first one to react to that miss. Oh, Excellent on. anticipation on his part. A hustle play on the putback by him. Andre Iguodala got off to a hot start last season. He shot 45% from long range through the first two months of the season. But after a hamstring injury, his percentages and his aggressiveness all seemed to tail off. And Steve, for Iguodala, the perfect example of a player who doesn't have to score to help his team win. He, he does so many other things. He does, Kevin. He's an excellent defender. He runs the floor. Uh, he handles the ball. He's a good passer. And a, a pretty solid three-point shooter as well. Not a volume three-point shooter, but, uh, but he will make selective threes. And so all in all, Iguodala, an excellent player. Curry, wide open. Lee. Some solid defense from Kobe. Johnson outside. Nice. The Warriors pull it in. A drive by Iguodala. Misses the runner. Very porous defense down there by the hoop. He probably should make that one. Johnson kicks to Lynn. And like the whistle like blow. That, it's going to be an Andre Iguodala. That is his first foul of the game. I did it again. And there's the call on Clay Thompson. That's his first foul. That's his first personal foul. Second foul. Left side, Lynn. In low to Boozer. Yes. And a nice assist from Lynn. And that'll tie this game up. Beautiful dish down low. Thompson passes to Kerr. He dishes it to Iguodala. Buries it from about 10 feet away. Iguodala has got six. And here in the first, approaching three minutes played. Lynn kicks to boost. And the rebound Back. goes to the Warriors. Oh, Lee's got three rebounds now in this one. Well, everyone knew that the Warriors Trust were going to be a team on the rise the after their deep run in 2013. Mm. Steve, you saw it firsthand, and they climbed to the ranks of the best in the West in 2014. Well, they didn't end up where many had hoped, which would have been in the top four of the conference, but they were powerful at times and uh, tough to stop. And in the West, oh you know, they God. still finish six. It just right, shows go. you the depth let's of the let's conference. Then if you can't run off, the start job is not going to be your right now. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time getting the lid off the basket so far. I tell them, no, now this is shooting is not going to get you. And he gets it to go. But that's not going to be enough. You got to run Guys, off. Guys, you know, you're not going to hit that shot too often. That's high risk. Curry dishes to Bogut. Knocked loose. And that'll be Golden State as it goes out of bounds. Warriors retain possession. Bogut with a screen on Boozer. Iguodala, the pass to Kerr. Six on the shot clock. A stupendous finish in traffic. And the story of this game in the early stages is just how well they've been shooting the ball. Steve, their percentage from the floor is really impressive up to this point. Here's Kobe. That doesn't go in either for Kobe. It's back to Hill. That's good. And it's Kobe with the assist. <sighs> Hill's 
got his first points in this one. They have got to put a body on it because otherwise, with his agility and athleticism, they're not going to be able to contain him on the offensive glass. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Andrew Bogut. That is his first foul of the game. Steve Nash, he's checked in for Jeremy Lin. And the Warriors with some changes. Now oh, here's Nash. 17-foot shot on the way. What was the defense doing there? I mean, he is not the guy to give an open look to, and yet they got away with it. Last season, a tough one for Kobe Bryant. He missed all but a handful of games. Early on, it was the Achilles tear he was rehabbing from, and then after six games, a fractured tibia took him out for the season. And he gets the bucket. Warriors have gone 6 of 12 from the field here in the first quarter. And Rush kicks to Livingston. In low to Spates. And there's a nice one-handed slam. Uh, Clark, I'm guessing that wasn't the plan for the D on that trip. And I'm agreeing with you there. Once they open the lane up for him, that was a little emphasis on that count. Take what the defense yeah, right. gives you and then but... just power it home, right? Why not? And Kobe's shown that he can withstand age with a terrific individual season for him. You remember, Steve, back in 2012, 2013, and then, of course, the injury plague season last year. Yeah, so now the challenge, of course, is can he overcome age and injury, and that's the, the challenge this year. Only time will tell, but one thing we do know that nobody will work harder than Kobe Bryant. Here's what the Lakers are going with right now. Sacre, he's checked in oh, for Hill. Sacre, come on, man. You're Randall that. comes in for Boozer. And Nick Young is subbed in for Wesley Johnson. Here's Kobe following the score by Golden State. And he drops in the layup off the glass. He's got to be happy to see the ball go through the hoop finally. He had five straight misses before finally making his first shot. Rush dishes to Spates. Over to the wing. Barnes passes to Spates. Good. Oh, come on, good one. Spates has got six. 43 seconds left to play in the first quarter. The try by Bryant. Come on. And it's Spates with the rebound. I don't know if it's just me, but he's looked a step slow since the start of the quarter. His shooting has really suffered. Good day. Shot is blocked. Here's Kobe. Misses the lamp. He had him with that bump fake. Ouch. Another miss to add to what's been a miserable game for him from the field. Spates kicks to Green. In low to Spates. Shot misses. Well. I played terrible more than by four. I'm okay with that. And so the first I quarter wraps like up without too much action on the scoreboard. Warriors lead by four. Yeah, right. And we'll be. And the first quarter the is can, in the, the book. Second about ready to get players. underway. Because I don't have enough talent. And yeah. the Warriors, guys, what jumps out to you in this game? Uh, Stats wise. So difficult to get a shot off against this defense. They are really playing hard. Yeah, they're playing hard, and they pride themselves on making it tough for their opponents. So on the floor for Golden State to begin this second quarter. On the wing, Thompson and Igudala. Green at the four with Lee at the five. And it's Curry in at the one. You know, it's no secret that the Lakers were really terrible last year. There's no other way to say it. And everything that could have gone wrong actually did. Murphy's Law on full display. On the wing, Igudala puts it up from 12. Here's Lee. That misses off the backboard. Lakers trail by three. And keeping us updated from the sideline, let's swing it over to Doris Burke for an update. Hi, Doris. 
Thank you, Kevin. Well, Kobe Bryant certainly had a unique childhood, spending time in Italy where his father played professional basketball. Kobe said, once I moved overseas, the game of basketball became my refuge. I developed a passion and relationship with the game. My grandfather used to tape games and mail them to me. It was special just to sit down and watch the game. Gentlemen, oh, over to you. I gotta make that shot. That's a shot. He's always had that passion. Thanks, Doris. And up the court come the Warriors on the break. Here's Thompson. No good. Nash outside. All sorts of time. And he gets it to go. Warriors leading by three. It's Curry with the drive. Lee dishes to Thompson. And he finishes nicely on the layup. You know, they're being very one-dimensional right now, going to the post every time. But if it works, you don't need another dimension. Well, they're taking this defense to task, quite honestly. Every one of their last 10 points have come in the paint. Young with no one around. Here's Sacre. Tries yet again. Fires the three. Again, Young missing. Well, that defense went from... Oh, how oh, oh, about oh. that basketball, that man? Beautiful. Wow. Wow, and that sort of showmanship is just deflating right now to a team trying Clark to get back into this game like this. Yeah, definitely a jam with emphasis. A big apostrophe or exclamation point. How about maybe even a question mark, Martin? Yeah. Well, you know what the questions are about now? It's their defense, that's for sure. No good from Lee. Well, a tough season for Steve Nash last year. Injuries limiting him to only a few games, and now in his 40s, it's looking oh, like this might be his it, it. last go round. Go on, Steve. My sister would not stop calling me. What's up, Lee? Well, first of all, when you called me, I was in my office. The other time you called me, I was at the doctor. <laughs> so, and then you, so right now I am in the game right now though, but I can call you since so I come out of it. Okay, everything all right? <laughs> okay, I hit you back. Goodbye. Okay, you ready? The call will be against Julius Randall. That is his first foul of the game. Andrew Bogan, he's checked in for Green. It's Curry with the drive. Young with the steal. Here's Henry. And a foul. You had to look dirty, man. Got him on the way up that time, so he'll shoot two right here. You went high, man. You went high. Well, probably the right play defensively. If you can't get the block, send them to the free throw line. Don't give them an easy two. No easy buckets inside. Force free throws and work to keep them out of the lane next time around. And for Steve Nash, the last couple seasons, issues with his hip, hamstring, a fractured leg, and then nerve damage. It's been tough sledding. Yeah, it really has been. And it's a product of a long Hall of Fame career, and the body inevitably starts to, to wear down. And it's tough, but I understand his motivation to finish his career on his terms, especially after all the work he's put in to get him back on the court. But sometimes the storybook ending you desire just doesn't come to be. They get it again. Outside Curry. Back to Bogut. Tries again. And a great assist by Curry as that one goes in. I don't know what's happening to their defense. I mean, they, they don't have any effort, any purpose. And it's really costing them. I mean, the last five baskets at that end have been on very easy looks. Nash, the pass to Young. Over to the left wing. Here. Oh! Look out! Watch out! Oh, wow. Wow. I don't know that this is the time for that kind of flair. In a close game, the important thing is the two points, not the dramatics. Oh, come on, Clark. He had to go <laughs> for it, didn't he? I'm with, I'm with you, Kevin. You can't watch out. Oh, swag, you always got to be real pretty. That was oh, wicked. Come on, Swag. Come on, Swag. <laughs> and the Warriors decide no to take their first time out here. You know, they're trying to get upset. I'm talking about I know you fired up. 
I know this team is a 42 point favorite, but hey, just play the game. Okay. That's what they beat. That's what they beat by the Lakers the other day. They beat them by 42 points. A platoon swap here for the Lakers. Things are better. Different look here Steve for the Curse Warriors. Cold. Lakers be having a third string Spates out there. checked in. Steve Curry having his starters. Barnes like, comes in uh, for Andre problem. Iguodala. And in rush, he's checked in for Clay Thompson. <laughs> that's cold. And it's Livingston in for Curry. Yeah, Curry. And yeah. that's out of bounds. Everybody Golden State will retain possession. Los Angeles on D. Here's Barnes. Shot is off. You've got to like what they've been doing down there in the low post, Clark. I do. I love it. Their rebounding has been outstanding. So important in a tight game. Kobe, no good. The Warriors have gone 5 of 11 from the field since the beginning of the second quarter. You gotta love the veteranship of Kobe. The Warriors are a team with big ambition from their plans for a new arena to a highly successful D League team in Santa Cruz. This is a team on the rise. Livingston kicks to rush. And it's good assisting on the play with Livingston. Rush has got his first two points. Now, when he gets an opening like that, he'll definitely take it. Well, he was there before, right. just that he was uh, hurt. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Bryant got the game tied up here for Los Angeles. That was the third straight high percentage look this defense has allowed. I mean, these defenders have got to start bumping yeah. bodies in the paint. Be more physical, be more aggressive. I agree, Clark, but it doesn't look like they have the will to do that at this moment. Lynn dishes to Bryant. And Brandon Rush. Just grab, gets the whistle rush that time. Ball, man. That's foul number two for him. That's his second personal foul. If he gets another, it probably puts him on the bench for the rest of the first half. Count it, and the Warrior lead is trying to show Rush down still to got one it. in the bucket from Kobe. It is so hard to contain him. He just seems to get it done however he has to do it. Here's Bogut. They get the rebound. And he was fouled on the way up. Two free throws now for him. The Warriors shooting their third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. And you look at the numbers from a year ago, guys. This is a club that hit about 75% of its free throws. Dang, look at Bogut making a free throw. Well, Andrew Bogut possesses really great size and above average athleticism, but I really think it's his basketball IQ that sets him apart. He's got outstanding instincts, especially at the defensive end of the floor. Boozer passes to Lynn. From the high post. Just five on the clock. That's Please good, and the Davis. Warrior lead is cut down to one on the bucket from Davis. And guys, they continue to put a lot of pressure on the interior defenders with the way they work down low. Well, it's become one of the stories of the first half, Clark, just piling up points in the paint. And no question, he got bumped on that shot. Definitely no room for discussion on that one. And the Warriors making a change shot, here. Guy. Green's checked in. How about the job they're doing drawing contact and giving themselves opportunities for free points at the line? My kind of basketball, Steve. No frills, straight ahead, physical play. Lynn kicks to Kobe. Poke loose. Here's Livingston. Close game as we wrap up the yeah. second quarter. The Warriors on top. Yes, They're up by three. And join us right back here after the break for the start of the second half. We have a close ball game on our hands as we get set for the second half of basketball. Andre Godawa has been sensational. Yeah, he was on a mission there in the first half, just trying to get into the lane every time possible. Aggressive attacking basketball at its very best. <laughs> Nash and Bryant in the backcourt. Inside, it's Boozer and Hill. And it's Johnson in at the three. That's the Laker five. Boy, they are just destroying them in the paint. You could say that again, Steve. The defenders just aren't aggressive enough down low. 
Nash dishes to Johnson for the lead. And that's two points on the way up. Johnson's got six. It's Thompson off the drive. He kicks it to Kerr. Igudala outside. The dish to Thompson. No luck. Some solid defense from Kobe. The Lakers in the lead. And he's going up for the alley-oop. And the slam dunk by Johnson. I'd say that fast break went according to plan. Yeah, it sure did. A good job getting it started and a better job finishing it off. You know, sometimes rest can do more harm than good. It certainly looks that way for them. They've been cold coming out and have yet to find the bottom of the net. Nash kicks to Hill. Lee with the steal. And here we go with Thompson running it up the court. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> And this offense needed oh, that one after goodness. four misses to start the half. Lakers last season, and this is a remarkable factoid here, folks. That was only the sixth time in franchise history, going all the way back to the 40s, that the Lakers had missed the playoffs. Obviously, the Lakers fans are not accustomed to missing the postseason. Fader on the way. There you go. The Lakers with the rebound. <laughs> Boozers got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Oh, my God. Well, he hasn't had much success shooting the ball, but it's not too late for him to get it turned around and start contributing. And for the Lakers last season, Steve, with the departure of Dwight Howard, you knew the team on paper had less talent, but the hope was that the chemistry would improve. And I thought it did. The chemistry was good. Kevin, they just didn't have enough talent. And when Kobe and Nash went down, it didn't matter who was out there, who was coaching. You know, it was just going to be a situation where they were not going to be able to win enough. Second chances. Nice pass. That one was right on target. Johnson again. Say good out. And Hill has it in the corner. Six to shoot. Oh, he misses the dunk. Great job defending the hoop there. So important to have good presence defensively inside. Yeah, and guys, it's his consistent shooting that's really helped get his team into a position they're in right now. Here's Nash. The shot is no good. The Warriors go the other way with it. Now Iguodala running the floor all by himself. How about that now? What a sensational finish. Oh, got to be able to get some hang time to do that. Yeah, you got to rise and levitate. Suspend yourself. Yeah, yeah levitate. Know, and and glide. Something. And glide. You got to glide in and reverse it home. So sweet. And let's now go to the sideline. We'll catch up here with Doris Burke. Doris. Well, Kevin, Steve Kerr taking over as head coach of the Warriors, a five-time NBA champion. His focus is on creating sustained success. He said, we've got a chance to be really good for the next decade. Let's just take a swing every Swaggy year and be consistent with our efforts, and we'll have our chances. And we get to watch him, Kevin. Looking to build something that'll last. Thank you, Doris. Well, Steph Curry, of course, deadly from outside the arc. But last season, he tried to improve his ability to get to the rim. In fact, he significantly increased his points in the paint last year. The rebound by Young. Lakers leading by three. Nash with it. And Curry picks him up defensively. Young for three. Here's Randall. Plays it up and banks it in. Randall's got his second bucket of the game to go. Did you see the defense get caught standing around that time, giving up an easy second chance bucket? Simply need Holy more of an moly. effort on the boards there, Steve. Shut that from the locker room. LA has gone into the three point range four times since halftime and buried two of them. Nash kicks to Henry. Dunk to finish it off. A oh, beauty. 
This game's going to take a big swing. Clark, if the D continues to clear out like that and give up easy dunks. Yeah, that's the kind of defense we expect to see in a blowout, Kevin, or even an exhibition game, not a close game like this. And you know, well, Steve is well, I just, uh, you know what, oh, Kevin? Disgusting. Come on, Kevin. I, I just like that he didn't choose to just lay it up there. I mean, he threw it down with force. For Los Angeles, they've gone 8 of 12 from the field since the beginning of the third. And good on the basket. Look it. Henry's got four points this quarter. That's how to orchestrate for your teammate. Terrific pass. Timeout called the Warriors. You know what you call them by that. any timeout at this point of the game. Important to go over the strategies like that me. are working and those that are needed in terms of adjustments. And, of course, the opportunity, guys, to get Strategy. hydrated with Gatorade before coming back out of the floor. Call We've seen some good action there. so far, and there's, there's more of it to come. Nothing. Yeah, this game has been physical. It's been fast. It's been high-paced. So anytime you're in a situation like this where it's really a hard-fought game, critical to keep yourself hydrated throughout. Young for three. And the rebound goes to the Warriors. Spades has got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. He's tried to get it going, but the shots just have not dropped for him today. Rando passes to Henry. Down low. Oh, good foul. And so he earns a trip to the line. Officials saw the contact, and he'll shoot two. Well, Julius Randle drafted out of Kentucky after one season. He fits that classic power forward mold. 6'9", strong, physical, great rebounder, and scores with his back to the basket. That free throw good from Randle. And Randle, regarded as a good outside shooter in high school, didn't really show that, though, at Kentucky. And I think he wants to show that he can be a floor spacer at the NBA level, but it may take some time. That would really help him offensively because he is a tad undersized at the power forward spot. So being able to shoot it from the perimeter would go a long way in his development. The steal. Oh, and that one, no question, powered it down. Boy, the kind of moments you love to see. Excellent defense leading to a dunk at the other end. Clark, you got to marvel at the transition game when they've got it clicking. It's really explosive. High octane for sure. Oof. Yeah, turning defensive pressure into offensive opportunities. That's what it's all about. Good foul. Rush. Good foul by the rookie. I like that. And he was fouled on the way up. Two free throws now for him. Excellent the foul Warriors by the Gone four of six so far from the line, missing a couple. And he's good on the second. Twelve seconds left in the third quarter. Here's Clarkson. The layup off target. Well, what appeared to be an easy two points just never materialized. And that's it for the third quarter. Both teams scoring well as we head to the fourth. Don't celebrate, guy. They over. He got one. Especially the fourth quarter. Lakers leading by seven. Our fourth quarter action underway, presented by Gatorade. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineups. What? Setting the floor for the what Warriors. Do do? Down low, it's Green and Bogut. Pulling out the wings, it's Iguodala in Barnes. And it's Livingston in the point guard position. He feeds it to Iguodala. And he gets it to go. Iguodala's got the fourth quarter started here with a bucket for the Warriors. Here's Clarkson. The Warriors pull it in. Barnes with it. And Young comes over to help. And that's a foul called on Xavier Henry. That'll be his second foul of the game. And some changes here for the Warriors. David Lee's checked in for Draymond Green. Clay Thompson comes in for Barnes. And Steph Curry subbed in. No goal, no goal, 
Some good play from Bogan in this one. He's got eight points go. and also a block shot. Good one, Sock. And breaking down some numbers here. The hustle stance for the Lakers. Boy, defensively, they've played with a high energy level, guys. And all the steals we've seen, really a result of that aggressiveness. They've been firing on all cylinders in the transition game, too. I mean, they've really run the break well. And it's a completely new group for Los Angeles. Thompson dishes the lead. And Carlos Boozer gets the whistle that time. That'll be his second foul of the game. Here's Iguodala. From 11 feet away. Not enough on that one as it misses. Throws it up high. Oh, and the jam by Johnson. Phenomenal alley-oop slam right there, guys. They're taking advantage, Clark, of a team that looks lost out there. Mm, yeah, this is threatening to get kind of ugly out here. Lakers leading by seven. Yeah, he's starting to grab him, folks. And Steph Curry with the foul. That is his first foul of the game. Nash kicks to Johnson. And fouled hard that time. He'll get to the line and shoot two. Wes Johnson, the former number four pick back in 2010. He was a bust in Minnesota, but he shot better in his fourth season. And once he was moved to kind of a small four, like the shooting power forward spot, uh, he really found a niche for himself. No good on the second, so he hits one of two. And Wesley Johnson has always been impressive physically. Great size, terrific length for a wing, quick off the floor. Yeah, he's got all of those ingredients, but his ball handling has been a bit mediocre, rather pedestrian, and I think that's held him back offensively. Boy, they have been terrific from beyond the arc here in the second half. You look at the percentages, good numbers. Just what the pharmacist prescribed. Those three-point bombs will erase the deficit quickly if they keep it up. Nash with the screen for Bryant. Hill is screen on Thompson. Bryant passes to Johnson. And here we go, Thompson heading to the hoop. We could have been looking at a two possession game, but that was a huge mistake on the turnover. Now nerves and tightness become a factor. Well, it's become a battle of wills, Clark. This is as good a game as we could have hoped for. The shot's good from Bryant. Warriors trailed by five. On its way from Curry for two. Knocked him down. What you doing, man? And the call will be against David Lee. That is his first foul of the game. Fourth quarter keeps moving right along. Three minutes gone so far. Bryant dishes to Hill. Bryant with a screen for Hill. Nash outside. Good. The assist goes to Hill. And now an eight-point Laker lead. He's definitely turned things around in this game. I mean, he was more of a background player in the first half. He's jumped center stage now. I tell you what, you don't want to allow too many of those kinds of baskets with the game on the line. No, this it's is where defenses have to protect the basket with everything they've got. Force the offense to shoot from the perimeter. Bryant drives in, and that one's good. Bryant got four this quarter. You know, with all the shots they've knocked Time down here greedy. in the second half, their field goal percentage has crossed the 50% mark. Getting stuck on Mad. Well, and that usually leads to a Mad win. I mean, this is just very efficient offense that we're seeing tonight. And a little over three and a half minutes in the books so far here in the fourth. Warriors trailed by eight. Johnson against Curry. There's the feed to Iguodala. Can't get it to go. Excellent defense there from Boozer. Well, the effort was there, but he just couldn't quite fight his way through traffic. Los Angeles leading by eight. The pass to Johnson. The drive by Bryant. That pushes it to double digits. Boy, they look helpless defensively. Timeout called the Warriors. Kobe Bryant really making a difference 
He's definitely rolling offensively. You might not be able to stop him, but you've got to find a way to contain him. All right, let's go over to the sideline with Doris Burke. Kevin, during that last break, I heard the Warriors coach as he addressed his team. He was emphatic. We're not getting it done, fellas. We've simply got to step up, get engaged, and try to battle back. Guys, we'll see if the pep talk gets them going. And again, it's the Warriors missing. Yeah, he's missing a lot of shots out here. Offensively, he just has not been able to produce in this quarter. What a beautiful pass to set that one up. The pass might have been pretty, but the finish, I thought, Clark, angry. That's a heck of a combination. Pretty pass and an angry punch. I would call it an irate finish, even. They can take their time on this possession. You know, guys, that wouldn't be a bad idea. I mean, it gives themselves a little break, too. Catch the breath. Yeah. Right. And a foul on the shot. He'll go to the strike for two. That's on Andrew Bogut. Kobe has been all sorts of trouble for him. He's got 16 points and four assists as well. You just can't find fault with anything he's done here. The effort, the energy, his production, his defense, it's all there. All hustle, nonstop effort from him all over that 94 by 50 foot box. He's perfect from the line this time. Well, Kobe has always had an alpha personality, but I don't think he came into the league as a natural leader. He was more of a loner. And as his career has worn on, Ouch. he's realized the need to really engage his teammates for the good of the team. Why'd you do that, man? And that one misses. That's something they go. need to do more of. I mean, my, get no, what happened after it on the my, glass. Uh, go get those boards. Any extra possessions that you can get, either through steals or rebounds, are so critical in this game. Dang. That's good. They have a little extra mojo going here, a little extra pep in their step, more hustle in this second half. They're doing a much better job in terms of second chance points. Here's Boozer. The Warriors pull it in. Iguodala's got three rebounds now in this one. Lee, left side. It's stolen by Hill. And it's the Lakers on the break. Kobe with the ball. That's pretty much been the norm for them. Getting their points off assists and great ball movement. Nice rhythm and flow for this team. Tremendous communication and alertness. And now just watching the clock wind down and what will turn out to be a win here for the Lakers. Good point, Steve. And Clark, they had to battle for this win. There were times when it looked like it was maybe slipping away a bit, but they never let that happen, which I thought was a real credit to them. I like their fortitude, their toughness, particularly okay, like, in terms down of dealing right with Let's adversity. Go. Anytime win. things didn't go their way, they just put their nose down and stayed with it. And because of that, they were able to pull away. And you see the contributions from the role players on the team. And boy, what a game it was for Kobe Bryant. Every time he shot it, it seemed like it was just going to drop in, and nobody was surprised. You know, even from here, you could see that one pretty clearly. Yep, pretty obvious, and a good call by the official. First free throw is good, and that will put them up by nine. Jeremy Lin, he's checked in for the Lakers. And the Warriors with some changes. Second Dang. free throw, no good that time. He really wanted that one. He would have liked them all to go, but that should still be enough to end this thing. Good defense, but you gotta love the finish with the finger roll over the top. Outside, Kobe. Johnson kicks to Kobe. <laughs> And so the Lakers take the win. Both teams played well, but these guys had the edge. Yeah, I think so. They were just steak knife sharp. Very on top of their game here. Well said. Well, it's time to say so long. For Clark Good Kellogg, upset, guys. Steve Good Kerr, upset. and Doris Burke, this is Kevin Harlan along with our 2K Sports crew thanking you for tuning in. Now it's time to present 